Thomas. The national final is over in overtime. And Andrew Corbett gets the chicken flag. Ash Media's coverage of the Australian production sedan title proudly brought to you by Speedway Sedans Australia. Set for a dispatch. The green lights come on. They're away. And they're one, two, three wide down into turn number one. Brandon Mongu may come out in front of the little Sigma. He does just. Fuster on the inside though. Mongu pokes the nose of the Sigma on the outside. They're still side by side out of three and four. Laid loss there along with Fraser and the Cortina. They're still to a rest. They're still to a rest from first to last as they come down out of turn one and two. Fuster in the front, back to Josh Fraser. Third place is now Stephen Laidlaw. Mongu back there in fourth position. Back then to Wayne Burke in fifth on the outside is Tim Green. Back to Michael Clark in seventh place. And coming through on the inside is Tim Atkin. He's up to eighth at this stage. Back to Murray Cleesby, then Leon Wood and Jamie Graham. Out in front though, it's still anybody's guess. Graham Fuster in the XF Ford Falcon leads the Cortina. So it's Fuster from uh, Josh Fraser, the former junior sedan driver. On the outside of him is uh, Stephen Laidlaw. Right behind them is Brandon Mongu, then uh, also Wayne Burke. On the outside is Michael Clark. The inside is Tim Atkin. Back to Tim Green. And Murray Cleesby went out to the highway, lost a spot as the lead changes. No, it doesn't. Michael is uh, still uh, Stephen Laidlaw on the outside of Josh Fraser. They're both up behind Graham Fuster. Fuster the leader. Laidlaw right behind him. Diving to the inside is Josh Fraser. Yeah, throw a T-tail over the first eight. As they go down the back straight once again. Laidlaw persisting on the outside. Fraser back to the inside. They're both up behind Fuster. As they come out of turn four again. Right there is Brandon Mongu. There's only, uh, let's have a look. There's only 1.1 seconds separating the top seven. As they move out of turn number two and down the back straight, it's anybody's guess here. What a race this has turned out to be. Laidlaw back on the outside of Josh Fraser. He's up behind Fuster. Fourth place is Michael Clark all of a sudden. On the inside is Mungu. Green is there along with Burke. And Tim Atkin just can't get past them. He's in eighth place and about six car lengths off the lead. As he now gets between Burke and Green. Down the back straight once again. There's going to be five laps to go. Fuster still out in front. Josh Fraser in second place. Laidlaw can't find a way through. Michael Clark's in fourth. Oh, trouble here in the main straight. We've got a three-car pile-up. They've got themselves sorted. The race continues. Tim Green, Atkin. Then we've got uh, Mungu and also uh, Wayne Burke. They all had it coming together. Burke has stopped on the back straight. The race continues for the moment. Fuster's the leader. Back to Laidlaw in second place. Third place, Josh Fraser and Michael Clark. Back to Tim Green and Tim Atkin. Down the back straight once again. The race leader is car number 45. Graham Fuster. No yellow lights and Wayne Burke will have to be a lap down. So they come into the main straight. The yellows have come on. What a hell to scout a race that was. And it's not over. Oh, it might be for Michael Clark. It's going up in smoke, the 26. What an absolute ripper. Wow. Turn four, away with the restart. Fuster leads him into turn one. Laidlaw immediately goes to the outside, but he is going to lose out, maybe a spot or two. Josh Fraser goes back into second place. So Fraser back to second, and we've got the status quo. Laidlaw on the outside, Tim Green comes underneath, and so too does Tim Atkin. Atkin, Green, and Laidlaw are three abreast behind Josh Fraser, who's right up behind Fuster. What an absolute ripper. Down the back straight again. It's still Fuster in front. Second place is Josh Fraser. Third place is Tim Atkin, who's come from the clouds. He comes underneath of Fraser. What a drive by Tim Atkin. He now is challenging for the lead with Graham Fuster. There's only going to be two laps to go. They're coming off the white flag the next time around. Can Graham Fuster hold off the challenge from Tim Atkin? Atkin dies to the inside of Fuster. What has the XF Ford Falcon got? Down the main straight. There is absolutely nothing in it. 0.019 as Tim Atkin hits the front. Atkin hits the front on the last lap. Fuster to second. Laidlaw, then Fraser and Josh Green into turn.